Hello students, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. I hope um, your preparation was going in, your f in a full swing. Uh, here I'm just going to talk about like uh, how this gate XC, uh, that is fluid mechanics, that also specifically I'm going to talk about fluid mechanics, just a moment, yeah. Fluid mechanics, uh, that is XCB, right? So how this fluid mechanics XCB is going to be different from the fluid mechanics which you are going to study in uh, mechanical engineering okay so like uh, the students who doesn't know about the difference uh, just go through the video fully i will be giving you the complete idea about how this fm is different that is fm in xcb is different from fm in me and also how you need to tackle it that is how you, how you are going to manage it and what are the solutions regarding to that okay so let us start the video Alright, so before going into the video, you guys need to understand one thing that gate XC, uh, that is also XCB fluid mechanics is different from the FM which you study in ME. It's not same. If you think that, okay, sir, I will prepare only fluid mechanics from ME and then I will go for XC, then I want to say that I have some bad news for you. It's not complete. Yes, of course, there are topics which are going to be same. And also the percentage is also a little bit higher side only, but still both of them are not same. There are two major uh, differences. Okay, that is what I'm going to point it out. Okay, the first difference is the syllabus, which is excess. Okay, the syllabus, mm, the syllabus which you are going to prepare for ME. Okay, it is around 20 to 30 percentage extra if you compare it with ME. Okay. So the syllabus in XE, basically the syllabus uh, which you are going to focus on XE is 20 to 30 percentage more than that of ME syllabus. I'm talking only about fluid mechanics. Don't worry about hydraulics because when it comes to when it comes to what is that? When it comes to XE, hydraulics are not there. So don't worry about hydraulics. I'm talking only about fluid mechanics. I'm not talking about machineries. Okay. So if you focus only on fluid mechanics, then around 20 to 30 percentage syllabus was excess. So this is the first problem which which the students will face when you are preparing for XC along with ME. Okay, for for, for fluid mechanics. And the next problem is the level of question. The level of question in XC for fluid mechanics is little bit on higher side. Um, yes, of course, in ME also, the level of questions, they are increasing recently. That is, the level of question was increasing. But still, I will go with XC is having little bit edge over ME. That is, the level of question in XC is little bit more compared with ME. Okay. Right, so these are the two problems, which is uh, majorly, uh, what is that, the two major variation if you compare ME and XE. And how to tackle it? First of all, let us focus on this excess syllabus, okay? See, what are all the excess syllabus? These are the topics which is in extra in XE, okay? If you are preparing for XE, these topics you need to prepare in addition to that of ME. Whatever you prepare for ME, plus these additional topics, okay? These additional topics need to be covered, okay? So what are the topics? You could see that uh, Reynolds transport theorem RTT, which is not required for ME, Navier-Stokes equation, which is not required for ME, only for XE, ideal fluid flow. This is one of the very, very, very important chapter in XE, but it is not there in ME. It's a complete chapter and it's an important chapter. You, we can expect at least one two mark question from this, at least one two mark question, which is not that much important in a ME, but it is needed for XE. And lift and drag concept, of course, you will be you will be studying this in ME, but in XE, the questions are frequently asked. Okay, the, the questions which is like if you compare it with ME paper, in XE paper, the questions are frequently asked. In Stokes law and terminal velocity concept, even, even if you consider this terminal velocity concept, you will be studying it in uh, ME itself. Okay, but not uh, that much. That is what I'm saying. The Stokes law and terminal velocity concept, you will be studying in ME, but in XE, since the questions are repeatedly asked, we need to highlight that also. Okay. Right, so these are the major variation, as I said, around 20 percentage, okay, around 20 percentage, there was some excess syllabus in XC, okay. Next, coming to solution, okay, so as I said, that two problems, right, excess syllabus is there and level of question. So, how you are going to tackle it? Simple, first step is to cover the excess topic, whatever you prepare for ME, okay, you prepare that, you cover all the topics which is present in ME first, that is obviously the first step. And solve, the, solve all the previous questions 
corresponding to me so whatever you do for me previous equation test series everything whatever you do for me you do it when it comes to fm but after that you have to cover the extra topics for xc specific okay that is that is these topics okay these are the extra topics which you need to focus on once after covering the me syllabus and after that you would have practiced the me questions you would have taken test series corresponding to me you would have done your extra topics but now you have to focus on previous year questions of xc see don't take this lightly because previous year questions of xc was um, it's a it's a high level questions and it it will help you a lot not only in xc preparation but also in me preparation okay so this covering the extra topic is 30 percentage of the thing which you need to do that is 30 percentage of the solution and another 30 percentage of the solution is uh, solving previous year question and balance 40 percentage of the solution is taking xc level test series it's not your me test series you have to go with xc level test series and specifically xc mock test which will make sure that you are getting adapted to xc because xc there are uh, uh the 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 mock test uh, the mock test model itself different right we, we you need to select uh, you need to go for four uh, options like aptitude and uh, xca and uh, xcb and xc any any other like the, these out of the other options you will be selecting two okay in that four how you are going to tackle okay so in that way you need to make sure that you are taking the mock test you are taking the xc level test series the question level has to increase improve so in that way you will able to cover that is you need to overcome the problem whatever we discussed that is these two problems can be overcome now i have a solution like i have given you a solution but now the question is sir where how like where and how where to prepare and how to prepare and like how to prepare in the sense where to prepare and how to prepare these things like how to focus on how to concentrate on these things simple we have an additional topic course uh, these additional topic course is specific for xca xcb and xce okay xca is engineering mathematics and these are the additional topics which is present in engineering mathematics and our course will cover all these topics okay so and demo videos are there you can go through that okay and also thermodynamics these are the topics and uh, for thermodynamics i have already made a video like how thermodynamics is different from uh, me thermodynamics that is how xc thermodynamics is different from me thermodynamics i have already made a video you can go through it and now xcb fluid mechanics and now this is a video where uh, how xc fluid mechanics is different from me fluid mechanics right so you can uh, these are the topics which i which i have already explained to you and in this course itself we will be focusing on the previous year questions of xca e and b okay so in that way we will be covering uh, at least some good number of previous year questions not 100 percentage of the previous year questions at least 80 to 85 percentage of the previous year questions will be dealt in this course itself okay so that course is additional topic course and uh, the registration link was there in the description you can go through it and demo videos is also there in the description you can go through it. and now coming to next we have test series I have test series for both XC and ME. If you are preparing for, uh, like, if you are if you are watching this video specifically for XC, then we have a specific test series for XC. Okay, we have specific test series for XC. As you could see, that around thousand hundred and forty two questions are there. Uh, it is divided according to subject test, topic test, and full and mock test, etc. And it will be exam gate, exam pattern, detail solution will be there. You can access it in both uh, both our app or system as per your wish. Okay. so i hope this video would have helped you uh, in identifying how this uh, what is that fluid mechanics in xc is different from fluid mechanics in me and also i have given you a solution and also i have given you where to prepare that is uh, like where to prepare how to prepare that is what we what we that is what endurance engineering academy is doing in order to tackle the problems which you are going to face when it comes to preparing xc parallelly with m okay thank you